got to the airport, breezed right through security, and now I have two and a half hours to kill before my plane gets here. So, uh, good thing I brought a book. Special German meal at the airport here. Mm, pretzel bread. Eat. Pretzel bread. I'm digging it. This is pretty nice for airport food. Beautiful out here. Snowing at Christmas time. Fantastic. This is my hotel. Check out this view. got back from dinner uh, on the first night that I'm here. I've been up for uh, two days basically with maybe two hours of sleep on the plane, uh, but it's all good. I had a great time so far. See, even though I'm pretty tired right now, it's about Oh, I don't know, 10.50 p.m. on Sunday night. I haven't slept but probably an hour and a half in the last two days. I um, have all this footage that I've shot that I need to save onto my hard drives so that I don't have just one copy of it just in case something happens to the card or whatever. So even at the end of a long day, still gotta do this. All for you guys. Happy to do it though. It's weird, it's like 7.30 in the morning, but it's still dark outside. I guess I'm a lot further north than at home. It's beautiful though. Let's get downstairs and get some food, shall we? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. A bucket of baguettes there. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yeah, almost, <laughs> the tree Jeez Louise. No, and to Brian's point, yeah, charcoal is the number <laughs> one just, for everybody. Did you really just say that? Yes. Oh, in the back. Here we are. Lamy. Oh, 
Allora. the bottom. I'm here outside the official Alami store. After I've toured the factory this morning, I'm now checking out the store. This is where they do testing, uh, basically to try to understand real time, direct with customers, what it is uh, that they find popular. So it's a way for the manufacturer to kind of stay in touch with you all who are writing with the pens instead of just relying on the information from retailers or distributors. So it's a nice little touch that Lamy does. famous. Here at a German Christmas market, and it uh, smells amazing. Really, really cool. From what I understand, they have a bunch of them all over Heidelberg, and uh, this is the first time I've made it to one. I was supposed to come to one on Sunday, but the snow kind of delayed things, and now there's like snow on all the roofs. It almost looks like it's fake, but it's real. So this is the Heidelberg, Heidelberg Castle, about 700 years old. Pretty amazing, especially this shot over here. It's wild. And for 50th anniversary of Lamy last year, they rented out this castle and had dinner inside. It's pretty cool. Look at the view from the castle. 
is unreal. Especially with the snow and the fog. We could not have asked for better winter weather. It's so cool. Yeah, so this thing's like 20 feet tall. I was told that while I was here, I had to have Glühwein, which is like a uh, red wine with rum and uh, citrus. It's quite good. So I was gonna get a Lego kit for my son in German, but they're all in English. <laughs> they're all in English. It's nothing special. Lego books, that's pretty cool. The dark side. Suitcase, it's a little more full going home than it was getting here. I think I'm ready to go. It's been nice, Heidelberg. Love being here. Eat, yeah, I guess. I feel like I'm in the uh, Willy Wonka elevator here. Is where I'm trying to go. Staying at this kind of a uh, hip place in uh, Frankfurt called Moxie. It's a hotel, new new style of hotel. A little more minimalistic. It's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty quirky over there at the Moxie. how big these things are. As big as my hand. Right, so now I'm gonna go in here. I heard there's a lot of pen displays. Check it out after I finish my pretzel and bratwurst. <laughs> so we got mommy. Mont Blanc. Hugo Boss, Pelican. something you don't see every day. This is a whole, they call it a shop-in-shop. Shop. So they have Mont Blanc, Pelican, Lamy, online Porsche design, all these brands in a department store. You don't see that in the US. I cannot believe how big this Christmas market is. And 
Frankfurt. It just goes on and on and on. There's so many people here. It's crazy. <laughs> really cool right outside my window in Frankfurt by the airport there's a cement truck that's filling this giant vat over here and then this huge crane is lifting it up and over and these guys are pouring the foundation for this building so it's just kind of cool to see this process all right heading out of uh, Frankfurt here getting ready to head to the airport Coolest elevator music I've ever heard. Frankfurt Airport now. Flight going from Iceland. They moved it up. And I only had an hour layover, so it's going to be a tight turnaround for me. So apparently, when you're flying from the U.S., you can carry a pretty good amount of weight with you in your carry-ons. But when you are in Europe, or Frankfurt at least, you can only have 10 kilos at a time, and I have 17. So they made an exception for me because I got all my video equipment and I did not want to check it. But we'll see once I get through security if they are still cool with that. So I'm really crossing my fingers because I do not want to have to check this equipment. So I'm here at the airport. Didn't get my bags taken away or have to check them, so that was good. And uh, I'm having my last meal here in Frankfurt. But bratwurst, this thing, don't remember what it's called, but it looks super good. There's a milk cafe, which is basically just a latte. This is how I'm ending my Germany trip. just landed in Iceland. My plane started boarding 10 minutes ago. So I have 20 minutes to get to my plane before they take off. It's a 15 minute walk to get to my gate. Gotta run. Made it. Here's my beautiful view of Iceland. <laughs> it's 4.30 in the afternoon and it's already completely dark. It was nice while I got to see it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Washington. It's good to be back home. Just made it through customs and everything, which really wasn't that bad. I was kind of concerned about it. The biggest problem that I had was I was trying to shoot this video in a secure area and they came and made me delete it off my phone and everything. <laughs> That's all right, I'm learning. All right, got a little fuel for the drive home, double flat white. So I'm going to pound that down while I drive home to see my family. So it's been a long trip, five days away. It's the longest I've been away from them in several years. So I'm excited to get back home. <sighs> car, sweet car. So I need to stay up late anyway to fight the jet lag. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drive home. It's a two hour drive, got my coffee, got a little sandwich, glass diet cheat <laughs> for a while. Uh, but I'm gonna go out with a bang. So I'm excited to get home and see my family. So just pulled into my driveway. It's about 9.45 at night. It feels like 3.45 in the morning to me because I'm still on German time. I'm staying up late so I can crush my jet lag. It's good to be home. But officially, this Germany trip has been completed.